Every day can be a grind, traveling and spending long hours at work, only to arrive home exhausted. So let me show you a quick, delicious, creamy pasta recipe prepared in 20 minutes, so you can spend time with what's most important in your life. All right, friends, this is a one pot recipe, so we just have some quick prep to do. I have a beautiful Serrano chili pepper, and I'm going to cut the stem off. Once you cut the stem off, slice down the center into two halves. And we're going to simply remove the seeds and the membrane from each half. Once that's done, I'm going to cut the pepper into small pieces. Next up is a green onion. Cut off the end with the root and chop that onion into small pieces. Next one yellow onion, I'm going to slice off each end. And then we're going to remove the skin. Once the skin's removed, I'm going to chop the onion, but not too fine, as we don't want the onion to get lost in the flavor of the pasta. Next up, we're going to take two cloves of garlic and mince those bad boys. Uh, go ahead and put that right into a small serving bowl. We're going to take some fresh Parmesan cheese and grate that. That cheese is going to add some fantastic consistency later on in the recipe. Okay, here I have a smoked Polish kielbasa. For those that don't know, kielbasa is a type of meat sausage from Poland and is a staple of Polish cuisine. Once unwrapped, I'm only going to use about half of the amount that you see here as we're only gonna use about a half a pound. I'm gonna cut into small pieces about a half an inch in thickness. And any unused portion you can wrap in foil and put in a Ziploc bag in the freezer for later. Then I like to take about three quarters of the amount and cut them into halves. Okay, time to get all these ingredients in the pot. Turn your heat on the stove to medium. Place one tablespoon of olive oil in there and heat that up. Add one and a half cups chopped onion. Go ahead and lay down that smoked kielbasa. Oh yeah. Once that's in the pot, go ahead and fry the kielbasa and onions until the onions become translucent. About five minutes. After five minutes, go ahead and add the minced garlic. And we're gonna wait about 30 seconds just to get that garlic nice and aromatic. Once it's aromatic, we're going to add the two cups of chicken broth. You can use vegetable broth, but I find chicken broth adds a nice flavor. Eight ounces of pasta. You can use any type of small pasta works, whether it's bow ties, rigatoni. I like the penne pasta. One can of condensed cream of chicken soup. Half a cup of heavy whipping cream.
give that a uh, good stir, mix all the ingredients so that they start to blend over the heat. Now we can add that fresh chili pepper. That's just gonna layer a nice little bit of flavor that offsets the cream. Go ahead and put your salt and pepper in and mix that all well. One 15 ounce can of diced tomatoes drained. And again, give it a good mix. Oh, this smells fantastic. Turn the heat off on your stove, cause you know what time it is. Add that Parmesan cheese. Mix the cheese well, because the cheese is going to thicken the sauce and create a nice, creamy, cheesy base with that delicious pasta. Now that we finished stirring, we're ready to serve. And oh, that looks so good. Creamy and cheesy, yet balanced by the chili peppers and the citric that you get from those wonderful diced tomatoes. And finally, we're just going to garnish with a little of that chopped green onion. And here you have it. A very simple, quick, but let me tell you, a phenomenally tasting pasta. So I hope you enjoyed this recipe. Thank you for everyone for watching. And please guys, remember, like, subscribe, tell a friend, and see you soon.